Veteran rafter Neil Eklund and his crewmate Dave are trapped. We decided to come into the saloon and get some wood, which is usually good. Now we're stuck in this doggone ice right here. These small tributaries of the Yukon are shallower than the main river and are the first to freeze over as winter approaches. Maybe you can go up front and bust it out with a pike pole as we go. There's a bit of a channel right up here. You think we can get to that? That'll help if we can. That'd be better. Well, there's open water up there. We'll get to that and be able to circle around and get out of the slough. I don't like it in here one bit. I think if we rock the boat, that'll help break it. Pretty thick up there. Are we getting, making any progress, Dave? I think we're getting her. I think that's helping break it loose. When the sun sets, temperatures will drop below freezing, and the ice will only get thicker. If they can't free themselves soon, they'll be stuck here through the night. The slough is just chock full of ice. There ain't no way we're getting in here. And there's a chance we're not getting out of here. Well, this sucks. We got to bust through the <laughs> to get out of this. It's getting thicker up here. Whoa. Hang on. That's thick right there. That will bust through her. Ice underneath there, too, isn't there? Yeah. We're almost there. Open water. Woo. Get a little open water. Man, that was open there. The skiff may be free, but ice that thick would stop the raft dead in its tracks. And the frozen slough means it's only a matter of time. All it takes would be this much and stop that raft from going forward. That's right, we get stuck in this and we're done. Yup, and you get a cold night and it ain't going nowhere. <laughs>